Yeah, but that thing is small. I finally get to tattoo. Another subject matter I have not done before. I don't do micro tattoos. For today's Flash Challenge, you must tattoo some of the most fragile skin on the body. The ear. Tattooing the ear is the hardest only because it's nowhere near a flat surface. You're in like a lump, a bump, a curve. It's ridiculous, ain't nothing straight. But that is not all. You and your teammate must create matching micro tattoos on two separate canvases. Uh, okay. You guys will all do your own tattoos. You have nobody to lean on but yourself. Okay, artists, you have two hours, and your time begins now. Those middle lines are basically, leave them like that. Nah. Just go over those, they're too thin. Pretty hard to put my ego aside in a lot of things, but next to DJ, it's not hard at all. You can go way deeper, dude. Don't be afraid. Dude, I'm, I'm getting it. This is absolutely not the time to set myself apart from my teammate. We're trying to look identical. The little tentacles then, and it meets the other one? Oh, no, dude, oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm getting this part because it's oh. been bugging me. You know me. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. I honestly don't know if Bubba's even here at all. I know the DJ is definitely pulling the strings in this relationship. Maybe before you're done, we both look at them next to each other and, and discuss a little here, this, and that. I don't think we should add anything else. OK. We really need to win this challenge because they're testing us. I'd be damned if I come back and not have the technical ability to win this. Still, before you're completely done, we should check it out. We can't make tattoos that look the same if we're not communicating. For some reason, I thought these were going to be really painful. This will be the time for me to separate myself from my teammate. Did you call me, Bang? Yeah, did you want to take a look at this while she's standing? Aren't we supposed to have matching ear tattoos? I should have mine a little darker than yours. It's almost like we're competing with each other at this point. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. OK, artists, it is now time to critique your work. Tri-Cities Tattoo. You guys definitely look like two different people did it. Bang, you have some blowouts towards the bottom, which is probably why it got heavier, because you were cleaning up a little. Dave, yours was a lot cleaner. Crisp outline, and the shape of the key was very straight. They look like they're competing against each other, not working with each other. Classic trilogy tattoo. There's seven lines in there? Six lines. We just counted seven. seven. Typically, there's five. OK. To give yourself more lines than what there should be makes it even harder to do in a tiny little bit of the ear. You guys made some weird decisions. I don't love this one. Pins and needles. You did a good job making them look like the same person did it. I like the fact that every line looks deliberate. You guys seem to hit everything directly, one shot, one pass. Artistic skin design. Technical application is very clean on these, but the designs look different from one ear to the next. You guys have been crushing it, but I think this one, you overworked yourselves. Think before you ink. There's more of a consistent hand on riches throughout the entire outline. Detat, you hit a major bump in the glass. And there are minimal amount of work, which means every bit of it has to be perfect. I did a good job in this piece, but as a team, we're getting a back critique. This sucks. Old Town Ink. It's very tight, clean, crisp, very small line details, and they both look like they have great technical application. Similar design, looks like the same artist did it. That's what we're looking for. Killer. Next team up is Allegory Art. Technical application of both these is on par with each other. My only nitpicky thing about it is the anatomy. There's no forehead, and then the jaw is huge. But I do think it is a bold tattoo. Unkindness art. You had a tougher road with the actual shape of the ears being so different. Yeah, it just wraps differently because of her anatomy. But overall, the technical application in both ears is on par with each other. Solid teamwork. Thank you. Thank you. House of Monkey. This was a really tough challenge trying to put a dragon going up the ear. But the difference between the two is pretty obvious. Picasso's yours has a little bit lighter, a little scratchier look. And Lalo's yours looks a little more punched in. You guys are held closest to the fire on this. Show up, or you're going to be right back out. We arguably had the hardest challenge of the day. I don't think it looks scratchy at all. Some bull All right, artists. Today, some of you had flawless technical application. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Old Town Inc.
I'm here to win. I don't give a shit. I'll let DJ take the spotlight. I'm here to prove just how much I've grown, how much I've learned, how much I can Mr. actually... Mr. Underestimator right here. Congratulations, DJ and Bubba. Thank you guys Thank so you much. Thank you very much. This week, we are testing you on texture. For today's flash challenge, you must tattoo an area of the body known for its difficult texture, the inside of the mouth. I hope nobody's breath stinks. The texture on the inside of a lip is difficult. If you don't go deep enough, the line will barely come out. And if you go a hair too deep, the skin almost pops a little bit, like a grape. In the 19th century, having your tongue tattooed was considered so painful that Hawaiian women would do it to mourn the death of their husbands. I'm not tattooing on a tongue. It's like tattooing a wet sponge. Your clients have been randomly assigned, and you'll have 30 minutes to tattoo the inside of your client's mouth. Your time begins now. I'm Trey. What's Trey, your name? I'm Esther. Nice to meet you. It's more of a novelty tattoo. You don't expect it to turn out super great because of the texture of the skin, but as long as you can get something in there to stay, the client's usually happy. Doing all right. My canvas says either the lip or the tongue. What I'm gonna do is an eyeball on his tongue. So it looks like he ate his eyeball. I'm just gonna try to do a photorealistic eyeball. I'm not tattooing a tongue. Sebastian was stupid enough to try it in this competition. Everything's so Every single challenge, I'm trying to do my best. I don't want to go home. I'm trying to win, and I'm trying to make it till the end. All right, guys, 10 minutes left. Thank you for having such great smelling breath. <laughs> I know that color typically doesn't last too long on the inside of the lips, but I'm adding color to her tattoo because I think it will make it look better. Five minutes remaining. A lot of people are doing these crazy designs on the lip. Now I'm worried that maybe I went too much of an easy route. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No more ink, Lalo. This is the first time I've seen people actually do color in the mouth, pretty crazy. Color inside the lip is a pretty big no-no. It's the first thing that goes. Jamie. Oh, when I saw it halfway through, it looked like a mess, but you took your time to clean it up. That's creepy. Tattoo baby. That's the kind of lip tattoo I'm used to seeing. Yeah, me too. Yes. Lettering. It's very solid, it's very dark. It's hard to keep those lines parallel and that crazy texture of the inner lip. I'm like, yes, they seem to like it. Next up, Mark. I'm having a hard time seeing what that is. I think the word is clear, but the stick figure is not legible. Sebastian. I gave him a third eye. Most of the tongue tattoos I've seen have dissipated pretty quickly. I have never tattooed a tongue. I was like, you know what? Let's see. And I would say that the white ink is probably going to not stay very long. I wouldn't have made that choice. Jesse. For the texture of the lip and everything else, I mean, Jesse, you were pretty spot on in there. That was a tight outline. You got a lip sleeve fully. Next up is Sarah. It's probably one of the more difficult surfaces to work on. It's tough to run a clean line in there. We've seen a lot of janky in her lip tattoos. I think the simplistic design is the way to go. Clint. Great script, super tight, clean, goes with the rest of them. That looks pretty in there. Just experience with it. Proportion looks right. I've done this a thousand times. I can't help it if everybody else just doesn't know what the f they're doing. Thanks, guys. Steve. I want to stay simple. That way she could wear it for as long as she can. Some of the lines are in there a little better than the others. Have to see how it heals. Trey. It's pretty deep in there, so it's very difficult to read. I think it's really tight and clean. One of the best techniques, the way you got it in there bold and it looks like it's going to stay. K Cutter. You're the only guy who tattooed the tongue and the lip. Yeah, I figured that. He's trying to be clever instead of being a good tattoo artist. In this flash challenge, we were testing your ability to tattoo a surface with a difficult texture. The judges have decided 
And the winner of this flash challenge is Clint. It's about time that I won. I needed this. I needed a win. Just a big you to everybody. For today's flash challenge, you must design custom lettering from scratch without using any reference. Coming up with your own original font? Yeah, that's hard. There's so much room for error. And you must tattoo body parts so small but so visible, precision is absolutely necessary. The knuckles. Tattooing the knuckles is difficult because if you go too deep or if you blow it out, you're screwed. And if you don't get it in there deep enough, it's not gonna stay. Your knuckles are super visible. You can't hide them unless you're wearing a glove. Oh, your time starts now. How you doing? Sausage. How you doing? Today, the stakes are the highest they're gonna be. I'm just gonna take my time and try and get the letters to all look like they go together. Precision's everything when it comes to knuckle tattoos. I wanna do something that's bold, that has a lot of little tricks in it. It is an awkward shape to stretch, an awkward shape to hold. You see a lot of tattooers not really sure how exactly to place their hand to be able to run a perfectly straight line. So I'm just gonna take each individual finger and kind of wrap it like okay. this. Keep your hand as limp as you can. There's no hiding your hands if it's not done properly. You're All color. Yes. The hardest thing about this is that it's knuckles. Their color will almost just disappear super quick. There is absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to do this in full color. If I can't get my canvas to change your mind, I'm in trouble. Man over there, you know, what's the name? Which one? Excuse me, Alex. Yeah, he's gonna smell it up. Yeah, I mean, I can see it all in this yeah, canvas, too. Now, I'm not opposed to putting color in there. I just want to put black in there. I didn't want it to be harsh. I like the, the colorful aspect of the tattoo. And I want to be able to give you what you want if we can be on the same page and, and so that I can give a little and then if you can give a little, then, we can, then we can hit this one out of the park. All right, ready? If it stings a little, that means it's working. All right, guys, one hour remaining. One hour to go. There's a lot of stress going into this knuckle tattoo because it's negative letters. Since you're making it negative, it's got to be like thicker parts in it, you know? I have to tattoo the outside of the finger and not the inside of the letter. So it's still... I can't make them too small or too thin or else it'll close up over time. Keep them real nice and clean. I have to be super careful. Normally, I trust my gut. After the bewildering critique I got last week, I'm second-guessing myself. What do you think? This is lovely. I'm feeling a lot of pressure to live up to what everyone is expecting from me. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Machines down, no more ink. Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. It's definitely my style, so. Awesome. Where's Sarah getting her font from? A dumpster? I can't believe that Sarah is such a specialist that she can't even do letters. <laughs> okay, artists, it's now time to critique your work. Maddie, when I heard the idea of the negative lettering, I wasn't quite sure how that would go, and I think you did a really great job here. I tried to be really precise with the lines. I used some stippling in the background so it doesn't get all muddied up as time goes on. The way you did this was the smart move. The stipple effect gives it a nice fade, gives him the negative approach that he wanted. Great job. Sausage, when you got here, you insisted no black. What happened? I listened to my artist. I think the color came out nice, but your line work is lacking some precision here. You have some discrepancies in some of the lines. Where your lines in, some of them trail off, some of them in bluntly. Particularly on the bottom of the F, it just doesn't end as nicely as the I's or the R. Sausage is a bad tattoo. He just didn't make good decisions. He's totally screwed. Jimmy. One of the great tests of precision is when you have two of the same letters, keeping those letters similar, which you've done here with the S's, and it's delicate and feminine. I think it's exactly what you wanted. Christian. The most impressive part about your tattoo is how perfectly they line up straight across both knuckles. This is probably the straightest lettering of the day. Precision in this really is your application with your color. It's a good job. Thanks. Anthony. Your big lines are all bold and solid, but I gotta call you out on the precision. The consistency in the small lines is very wavering. You're spelling killer a certain way, so you're already dealing with something that's difficult to read, and then you got a very elaborate font there. Maybe not the most legible thing. Megan Jean. 
make your tattoos stand out really bold, and when you look at them close, they look very clean. There's only really one discrepancy on the way you did the traditional A's. You have the line going through the open part of the A instead of it just coming out from behind it. But I think it's very strong. These tattoos are gonna hold. Clean. They're definitely very strong, bold tattoos. The black is nice, a little bit of gray highlights give a finesse. You have three letters that you have on both fingers. You have the L, the I, and the E. They all match perfectly, which really shows that you're able to mimic your own lettering repeatedly. It's strong. Thanks. Sarah. Some of the lines look a little more sculpted than others. The farthest right portion of the W is a little bit close to the center, so aging over time, you could have an issue there. And you missed the mark on the O's. The style of font that you chose made it very difficult to get those concentric lines on a finger. It just looked like a crappy oblong donut. Am I nuts? We're not looking at the same tattoos here. Why are they singling me out? The judges have decided the winner of the Flash Challenge is Clean Rock One. Clean, I think you really showed off today with precision because you match those same letters. You match the L's, you match the I's, and you match the E's in that hand style. And I think you did a really good job. I can't believe Clean won again. This is bull Head back to the loft and prepare to find out who you must battle next. For this flash challenge, you must tattoo a part of the body that is so delicate, accuracy is absolutely critical. The eyelids. Holy Are you talking eyebrow or actual eyelid? Lid, closed lid. Wow. Are you serious? How do we keep the needle from going into their eye? I could just see it turning into a nightmare really quick. I don't tattoo faces. I am not cool with this at all. Just hold it down and just do the thing right in here. Oh my god. You've each been randomly assigned a canvas and have 60 minutes to complete your eyelid tattoo. And your time starts now. Go ahead and step this way. This is something you definitely want to do, right? I'm pretty nervous. Well, it makes two of us, so we'll be all right. We're going to get through this together then. I had nightmares about this. <laughs> oh, that's nice. The needle going through my eye and blood well, gushing everywhere. you've got everywhere. some really thick eyelids. I can't put some big, terrible thing across your eyelids. Close your eyes super, super tight for a second. My idea is to hide two little hearts enough in her eyelid that when her eyelids are half open, you can't see them. Oh, that feels weird. 10 minutes remaining. You trying to win this last challenge, Jimmy? Yeah, man. Two reasons I ain't trying to someone's face up. Two, I'm gonna win this so I can take my canvas pick. I've got his eyelid squished down, and every time he slightly moves his eye, I can feel it sliding all around him. It's weird as hell, man. Three, two, one. That's it. Time's up. Machine's down. No more ink, please. How was the experience for you, Kyle? It's your first time doing the eyelids. I tried to keep them where she'd be able to hold the job as long as she kept her eyes open. Mm -hmm. So you can see they kind of disappear a bit. They're very small, very delicate, and very accurate. The clean, tight outline that you put on those really works. Nice job. Jimmy. You really went above and beyond, dude, the cursive. You made even some little beveled edges in there. This thing looks as good as a tattoo would be anywhere else on the body. Thank you. Joshua. I think some of the issues you have with the accuracy in this thing is from confidence. Tattooing people's faces is something that I would never do in any other situation. But you have a canvas here who's got plenty of face tattoos. That had to be at least somewhat comforting for you. If I was set up with any of the other canvases, I would have forfeited this challenge. The big thing here is accuracy. The second part of the word is a lot closer to the eyelid, and the other side comes a little higher up. I don't think your accuracy was on point. Tattoo baby, how was it for you to tattoo the eyelids? It was challenging. He wanted it really small, and he didn't want for you to see it when he had his eyes open. I think you did a really accurate job of placing it. And it's very simple design, very clean, very legible. This guy doesn't have any other tattoos. If I would have got assigned this canvas, I would have taken the professional responsibility to talk him out of it. Jason? I really like the way they fit on the eye. Obviously, your canvas, he wanted it to be shown when his eyes are open. And accuracy, man, very clean line work. It's the toughest outline you've had to do yet, and you hit it. Oh my god, I might even be able to win this challenge. 
Joey. It's a little rough, and it's not as accurate and as tight as a lot of line work we've seen you do. As far as hitting the mark against everybody else, not the best day. Turns out, Joey is not as good as he may think he is. Everybody has a weakness in this game. Everybody. Today, we asked you to show accuracy by tattooing a very small, delicate canvas, the eyelids. Some of your tattoos looked very sharp. Jimmy. You went in, you did very precise line work and playing with the size so that even though you had four letters on one side and two on the other, it still looked very balanced. Great attention to detail. Thank you. Jason. Your tattoo came out really, really clean. Your line work looked almost flawless on this eyelid. You seem very comfortable today, and that's where everybody should be. Appreciate it. The winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Jimmy. Finally. <laughs> Damn. Damn it, Jimmy, you always pull it out at the end. I'm getting pissed off. Tattoos are forbidden by many religions. Many people won't get tattoos because it goes against their religious beliefs. However, today, you must tattoo your canvas's fingernails. What? what? I don't work at a nail salon, bitch. I work at a tattoo shop. Every drop of ink will permanently be embedded in the fingernail, but eventually, the fingernails will grow out. Dude, are you crazy? I'm not even 100% sure if this is even gonna work. You must demonstrate consistency by tattooing one design on five of your canvas's fingernails and another design on the other five fingernails. Micro tattoos are very difficult because they require extreme accuracy with every needle hit to create a clear design on a tiny canvas. One thing about fingernails, they are not consistent. I don't see anything about today being easy. And your time starts now. Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How you doing? I'm nice Craig. Nice to meet you. No tats. This is it, huh? The more basic that we go, the cooler it's going to look because it's such a small space. I've done it to myself plenty of times. When I was young, when I was learning, oh, wow. I'd sit there and do little stuff on my fingernails to see really? how something would work. I bet I'm the only tattooer in here that's tattooed my own fingernails before. Chris is used to doing enormous tattoos. He may have a hard time doing these little micro tattoos with those big stumpy fingers. 18 years I've been tattooing, and you were my first nails. Oh, right. I've definitely got this one in the bag. That's got to be like the weirdest feeling ever. <laughs> Such a big my canvas wants little hearts and little ice cream cones. Have you ever done a nail tattoo? No. <laughs> I've never seriously tattooed a fingernail, but I mean, I can tattoo anything, anywhere. You're still here, so that's good. Oh yeah, no, I'm kicking ass. Kicking ass. I just love the idea of a crescent moon. And I love the idea of like a planet with its like moons that, that are orbiting around it or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. My canvas wants an entire galaxy across her nails. I've never even tattooed one nail before. But the fact that it's a nail is freaking me out. You're tattooing over this hard surface that's rigidy and stuff. It's so gross. Like I'm weird about nails. Now I'm just like, oh no. Are you gonna have enough time to do all of them? 30 minutes left, guys. 30 minutes remaining. What do you think about something like that? It's really pretty. A pattern is the best way to show consistency. I really, really need to work hard not to be in the bottom again. It's such a tight competition, and now that we're down in numbers, it's getting tough. I'm showing 10 beach scenes. The only thing that's not consistent with it is the positioning of the sun. So it's just a small thing changing where everything else is going to be consistent. I'm not bucking on the rules. I'm just using my creativity to help me get the skull pick. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Time is up. Wow. Awesome. My first ever <laughs> nail tattoo session. Craig tattooed a different image on each one of the nails. We're supposed to be doing consistency. All you have to do is tattoo the same thing on each nail. So do it, don't make your life hard. You're stupid. It's time to critique your work. Let's start with Tyler. Tyler, I think it's an excellent job. Very strong consistency. The line work is very clean. 
The color fills are very smooth and solid. All the highlights that you have in every ice cream cone, the little blue dot on top, the placement on each fingernail, I think you did a good job. Chris. Doing the full set of nails, as it grows out, she'll steadily have a style on there for a longer amount of time than just having a little sticker. Overall, I think the consistency is strong. Eric. They look very crisp and very sharp. That's perfect size ratio for the nail. That follows consistency very well. The only inconsistency I see is a couple of stars have a little bit different tone and shade of purple than the others. Duffy. Out of all the different looks that you have, the ones with almost the half moon circles are really the most interesting. The ones that align the same way are very consistent. The application and technique is all very strong. Cruzman. As far as the floral design, I think it fits the nail very nice. Kind of tricky with the spider web. That's where you kind of lost the consistency. You see a lot more changes and wavering details in the spider webs. Matt. The anchors came out very consistent. The ship wheels was a tough thing to deal yourself. That's where your inconsistency show a little bit. That's a tough spot to be in to have to do that many circles on fingernails. Katie. These came out really cute. The moon and star, every other finger is a really nice idea. The line consistency and the color consistency, I think it's nice. But as far as consistency goes, the shapes of the moons do vary. Craig. None of these are the same. What's going on there? I thought it would be cool to do a night beach scene that transforms into a day scene. As far as the whole concept of consistency, each design is a little bit different. They alternate finger to finger, and that's a fail. I'm super pissed. I'm not breaking any rules here. There is something consistent throughout the whole design. It's bull Today, you had to tattoo matching designs onto your canvas's fingernails. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Tyler. <laughs> That's so funny. Tyler, overall consistency, yours were super sharp, super clean. The color, each one looked almost exactly the same. Came out on top. <laughs> Today, you must create a micro-realistic insect tattoo. Micro-realistic insect. <laughs> In an area no bigger than two inches by two inches, it will take the application skills of a master to flawlessly apply every microscopic detail. This is one of the things I do at home. I haven't won a single master face-off. Anthony's won one, Steve's won one. It's my time to show up on this tattoo and beat both of them out. You have two hours, and your time starts now. Yeah, well, that thing is small. I finally get to tattoo another subject matter I have not done before. I don't do micro tattoos. One hour left. I just want like a cool three quarter with a shadow under it. I want a good shine in it. I think I got these coaches in this challenge. It's awesome. I think it'd be cool. You got huge contrast, nice deep black. Are you going to do more with, with the eye here? Like more yeah, shading on the eye? Yeah, I'm definitely going to do okay. more shading on the eye. I just wanted to get the detail in first, you know? Mm -hmm. I know Steve can pull out a win. Good looking out. He's been the underdog, I think, when it comes to the coaches. You know, he's old school. He's been tattooing for a long time. But he's shown that he can beat them on any day. He needs black off the tip. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. No matter how hard Steve and Anthony work today, DJ is the king of micro-realism, and no one can touch that. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. It is time to critique your work. Anthony, let's start with you. We set out to do a clean tattoo, and we're able to deliver that. The application in this tattoo is really smooth. There's no redness, there's no trauma. Everything's deliberate. More than anything, it looks like a believable insect. The segments are really defined. It's tiny, but the details are big enough to stand clear. The drop shadow is really nice under the translucent wings, so you still get the effect of these wings being detailed, yet they give off this little bit of shadow, which you got perfectly. Thanks. My biggest fear right now is DJ's Beetle didn't allow the opportunity to have some of the extra textures that Anthony was able to put in between the fur and the translucence of the wings. Killed it. 
DJ. Really like it, man. It's super tight, super clean. You went with a realistic take on this thing. It looks really slick. The stuff you put on the back of the beetle shell has a really great look to it. It looks like you could drag your finger over it, feel the texture, how you juxtapose the gray to the black to the gray to the black so that you can see the bending turns is a real feather in your cap. It really does have a three-dimensional look. It looks like it could be actually sitting on her leg. Thanks, guys. Might be throwing a bunch of gold bullets at me. Steve. I really like this tattoo, and I really like how it somehow looks like your style in there. It looks evil. It has a little evil face to it. Getting away from the mantis was the best choice. And this thing is every bit of detail. This magnified take on this thing is almost ominous. I mean, it really suits your style, but then at the same time, every leg, every line, every little thing on this thing is flawless. Thanks. I'm feeling a little bit better about Steve. He showed me some respect, and that goes a long way to me. I respect him a little bit more. Guys, we need to determine a winner. I think outright DJ's looks the most like a tattoo. It looks like you could pick it up, chuck it, and the thing will just be solid. Steve's is more of like a technical drawing. It's like a science of, drawing. A yeah. science drawing of a blown up fly. I'm torn between Steve and DJ. I mean, Anthony put in multiple textures. Those translucent wings give that really soft drop shadow. Plus the connection of every single leg is really well detailed. I'm leaning towards Anthony. Really soft. I'm gonna go with Anthony. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Anthony. Nice. Thank you, guys. Are you kidding me? I can't believe Anthony beat me. I cannot win.